holding the powerful accountable. Governor, did the DEP keep you in the dark? Is the state attorney's office going to enforce the law? And getting results. Steve Andrews is targeting. She complained to the state about the conditions that she found her father in at a Tampa nursing home. Now, she's talking to Target 8. A Tampa woman contends her father is not getting the care that he's paying for at the Habana Health Care Center. She has complained about that nursing home time and time again, and the state found several violations of rules and laws there. Problems continue, so fed up, she decided it was time to contact Target 8 senior investigator Steve Andrews. And she showed me some very disturbing pictures about what she found at this particular nursing home. This is a daughter who refuses to accept excuses when it comes to the care of her dad. She's the voice her father no longer has. 79-year-old Willie Johnson suffers from dementia. He lives at the Habana Health Care Center in Tampa. My dad is not getting the care that he's paying for to stay in that facility. Records show in three years, Willie's daughter, Tanya Baker, filed five complaints with the state about this nursing home. Four times, the Agency for Health Care Administration found violations here. She's going public because Tanya contends problems persist. Not taking care of my dad, not feeding my dad, going in there finding my dad uh, wet, pampers, the pens not being changed. Tanya showed me photographs of conditions in which she's found her father. In this picture, he has a busted lip. Tanya says the facility told her a roommate punched him. In this photo, a gash in Willie Johnson's forehead. She says the nursing home claimed it happened in the shower. I don't think a shower rod would have busted my daddy's head. I found the state fined Habana Health Care Center six grand earlier this year for not having enough clean linens for patients' beds. About a week ago, they did not have no clean linens to change my dad's bed. According to Tanya, Willie Johnson is incapable of feeding, bathing, or walking. I found my daddy breath was on the floor, the milk was on the floor. I got there at 410 and not a, a CNA went in my dad's room to notice that food was on the floor. Tanya's found the call button on the floor where Willie can't reach it. Open sores on his legs. Here, her dad is wearing someone else's clothes. I also went in and had him take my dad at air conditioning unit out the wall um, because he had a lot of mold in there. In the air condition and the air conditioning wall. Tanya hopes going public will help make patients' lives here better. According to Tanya Baker, Consulate Healthcare, which runs Havana Healthcare Center, offered to send Willie Johnson to a St. Petersburg facility, but that would make it harder for Tanya to visit daily. She believes it's up to the nursing home to provide the care that her father is paying for. Havana Health Care. You think mm. that the care should be there. So what is what, what's, what are they saying about this? Well, I heard from the Consulate Care's corporate office today. It told me that uh, it takes Tanya's concerns very seriously. A new executive director is on site at Havana Health Care, and if there are problems, they say he will get things fixed. Mm. We'll I sure watching. hope so. Okay. All right, Steve, so. just awful. If you have a problem you'd like Steve to investigate, call our Target 8 helpline, 1-800-338-0808.